Tanya and Terrell, this has been very frustrating for a lot of people traveling through O'Hare this morning. Right now, all is quiet here, but earlier, there was a lot of confusion as flights were abruptly delayed. The FAA has lifted a ground stop following an outage to a system that provides pilots with real-time safety notices they need before flying. The outage began late last night, leading the FAA to stop all domestic aircraft departures for about an hour and a half. Normal operations at O'Hare resumed just after 8 o'clock this morning, but delays after the ground stop continue. The flight tracking website FlightAware showing more than 5,000 flight delays nationwide this morning with about 1,000 cancellations. I spoke to one air traveler heading to Minneapolis from O'Hare whose flight was disrupted. United was very good about updating the app on delays. Had a pretty tight time between landing and getting to the meeting and with the uh, delay, it was a half hour and then it was an hour and at the hour point I decided to just call it a day and stay in Chicago and the gate agent was very good about uh, canceling me and, and getting uh, a flight credit. President Biden was briefed this morning by the Department of Transportation. He told reporters that the cause is unknown, but a full review of the technology failure is underway. When asked about this being a possible cyber attack, his response was, we don't know, but we will find out. Now, back here live, the Chicago Department of Aviation saying residual delays or cancellations will likely continue throughout the day, and they are encouraging travelers to check with their airlines check those flights before heading out to here to the airport. Tanya and Terrell, back to you. Jessica, thank you. Live at O'Hare and Midway was also hit hard just weeks after the Southwest debacle. Yeah, Diane Pathy was out at Midway right now, Diane. Same thing here, Tanya and Terrell. You are encouraged to check that flight to make sure it's not delayed because right now we've got 48 flights actually canceled and we've got delays of over an hour here at Midway. This after the FAA canceled all domestic flights from taking off by 8 a.m. Just like at O'Hare here at Midway, the flights were already beginning to slowly take off. Janine Lavoie and her son Evan were on their way to the airport when they found out about the issues from her sister. She had said, did you hear about the FAA and closures? And I looked up an article on my phone while we were driving and said, well, we looked right away at our flight and it said it was going to be delayed by a couple hours. So we're hoping that's worst case scenario. And again, air traffic resumed by 8 a.m. But in so many cases, the damage is already done. Airlines this morning now playing catch up and getting flights out as soon as they can. And we have seen flights leave and arrive here at Midway since everything got sort of back in order. You'll recall just a couple of weeks ago, and Tanya and Terrell, you mentioned this briefly, Southwest Airlines had its own issues here at Midway Airport, delaying and canceling hundreds of flights out of Midway. So again, this isn't a Southwest issue, but this was an issue all across airports nationwide. But again, things are moving once again here at Mid Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.